Mannerism was a style of art that arose after the sack of Rome. This occurred in 1527. It was a six-month period where many artistic achievements came undone, and Rome was no longer the center of the Renaissance. However, despite this destruction, a new art style, Mannerism, emerged from this turmoil, but it was different from the Renaissance art it stemmed from. Works such as the Entombment of Christ demonstrate many of the characteristics of Mannerist art. Mannerists used classical or idealized forms of the Italian Renaissance, but exaggerated or used these forms in new ways in order to increase tension, emotion, power, or beauty. They experimented with depth and space in painting, for instance, using foreshortening to create the illusion of extending into space, or contorting perspectives, such as how the figures in the Entombment of Christ seem to get smaller as they ascend. It abandoned the concept of a horizon line, further twisting the perspective. Distortion of proportions in very unconventional ways was another characteristic of Mannerist art. For instance, in Pantormo's painting, the limbs, necks, and bodies of the subject are elongating and entwined with each other, making it hard to tell where one ends and another begins. They appear almost disembodied. Mannerists would also often use biblical subjects but make them so complex that even the most knowledgeable of viewers would struggle to understand it. This particular example is very confusing because it is almost chaotic with the crowding of figures, causing it to be hard to determine the context of the painting. Plus, even though it is called the Entombment of Christ, Pantormo makes it even more difficult to understand by excluding a tomb and any weeping from the painting. Mannerism was a puzzling and demanding period for both the artist and the viewer. The Salt Cellar by Benvenuto Cellini is a Mannerist sculpture constructed to hold salt in pepper containers. Cellini made it for Francis I of France. It is made of ivory, gold, and enamel. It displays Mannerist influences because of its allegorical and complex meaning of terra e mare, land and sea, and lack of perspective and proportions. It is not balanced like classical Renaissance art. The figures are strained and off-center so as to make it more elegantly poised as they liked. Around the base of the salt cellar are more reclined, poised figures. Mannerists saw beauty in elongated figures that were not necessarily in the center of the visual field because they strive to defy the typical ideas of order to create more unique arrangements. This piece allegorically represents land and sea, or in Italian, terra e mare. The figures are identified as Neptune, the god of the sea, and Tellus, the goddess of the land. The way their legs are entwined is important because it represents how the earth and sea meet. Noticeably, the proportions between the gods and objects are off because the temple and ship-shaped salt and pepper holders are much smaller than the seemingly human figures, which was characteristic of mannerism to distort perspectives in this way. They wanted to emphasize the figurative importance and beauty of land and sea rather than the objects in them. This shift from classical ideals overall served to enhance the complexity of the meaning of the cellar and made the iconography intellectually challenging to decipher why these artistic choices were made.